In this video we're going to see how we can solve differential equations in the form shown below. In both cases we can separate the um, functions of x from the functions of y so that we can split them by either dividing or multiplying. So let's look at the theory of what's going on. So in this first one we've got um, dy by dx equals a function of x multiplied by a function of y. So it might turn out that they might be all mixed up, but we might be able to factorise them out to get them into this form. So the first thing we do is we bring the g of x, I'm sorry, the g of y down, or the function of y down, and bring the dx to get something like this. But this doesn't actually make mathematical sense. And we make sense of that by understanding that we actually need to bring in the integral. So I brought the dy over, over, so it's 1 over g of y, and put the integral in front, and we do the same here. So all we've got to do is integrate this side with respect to y, and this side with respect to x. And then remember, we've got to add in a constant of integration. We only have to do that once because it can be combined for both. The other form is when we've got it like this, rather than one uh, multiplied by the other, it's one divided by the other. And this time we're going to multiply by g of y, bringing it up here, multiplying by d of x to bring it up here. So that gives us this form. We've got to make sense of that by putting the integral sign in front of each. OK, let's see some examples in action. So we look at this one here. Uh, it doesn't necessarily look like it's a function of x multiplied a function of y, because there's no brackets here. But you might notice we can factorise out the y, so we end up with this. So there's our function of y, there's our function of x. So we'll bring the dx up, and we'll bring that function of y, which is just y, down, and put the integral signs in so that it makes sense. If we integrate 1 over y, we get log y, and if we differentiate x plus 3, I get x squared over 2 plus 3x. Just remember, you've got to add in the constant of integration. You might have to change the form of this if you want it as y equals um, by writing y equals um, e to the power of this lot. But it depends on what the question is asking you. Let's look at one more example. So here we've got a function of x over a function of y. So I can separate them, and this is sometimes called um, variable separable. So I'm going to bring the sine y up to here, and I'm going to bring the dx up to here, and with integral signs in to make sense, and we have this. If we integrate sine y, we get minus cos y, x squared is x cubed over 3, cos x is sine x, and it's already minus, and there's our constant of integration. In the description below you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in Infield with Winfield.